In the middle of Kenya's Turkana region, an arid desert that stretches out for miles, with temperatures often reaching 40 degrees Celsius, an unusual structure rises from the dry landscape. Three towers, tall and majestic, are welcome view, as if signaling an oasis. But these towers aren't just a landmark. They also serve a crucial technical purpose, cooling the building. And the most fascinating part? They were inspired by termite mounds. This is a termite mound, an impressive structure built by millions of termites that provides them with shelter from predators, but also from temperature extremes. African termite mounds are ventilated through a natural system that allows air to flow in and out, maintaining a stable internal environment. The mounds have a network of tunnels and vents. Cool air enters through small openings at the base of the mound, while warm air rises and exits through a central chimney. This process creates a natural ventilation system that helps regulate temperature and humidity inside the mound ensuring a suitable living environment for the termites. So how does that apply to our building? Well, in architecture school, we're often taught to look for inspiration in the vernacular architecture in the region where we're designing. Because the design has been developed and iterated by local people for centuries and likely holds the clues to the most sustainable way of living in that particular region. But when architect Francis Carré was invited to design the Startup Lines campus, he went a step further and took his inspiration from these fascinating skyscrapers that were built by termites around the building site. Similar to the mounds, the building has specially designed adjustable low-level openings introducing fresh air inside. As the air warms inside the building, the towers then help to extract the excess heat creating a stack effect and cooling the building. This process is called biomimicry, a practice that learns from and mimics the strategies found in nature to solve human design challenges. So, does it actually work? Well, in fact, this happens to be a tested method that was used previously in several other buildings, but the most famous one is the East Gate Center in Zimbabwe. The performance of this building has been monitored since 1996 and analyzing the data has uncovered that this building uses less than 50% of the energy compared to similar buildings that use mechanical air conditioning in the city of Harare. This percentage is quite considerable in countries like Zimbabwe and Kenya. Hot climates that have very high cooling loads and that are relying more and more on mechanical air conditioning um, as the countries develop. And in many cases, importing old and inefficient air conditioning units that are consuming even more energy and producing more pollution. There's no doubt that aiming to minimize energy consumption through design is the first step to creating a more sustainable world. But some designs don't just aim to minimize, they ambitiously aim to completely eliminate any need for mechanical cooling, heating or ventilation. And to find out more about how they're doing that, watch the video right here.